Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial of the UMMORPG. In this tutorial we're going to go over how to swap out the character models so you can place your own models into the scene and go from there. So what you've got to do is have your own character with animations which is my character and all the animations. Yours obviously will be different. Um, so, so then what we do is we go to UMMORPG and we go to Prefabs, Entities, Plays and then what you got to do is you get the Warrior, hit Ctrl D to duplicate or duplicate it so you have your own and then you drag the original one first out into the scene and then you'll see when you go up to the top left here where warriors you got name overlay, armchair, feet, hair, hands, head, outfit. So what you have to do is get your character where he is there is put him into the scene. Well, let me Sorry guys. <coughs> there we go. Sorry about that. I don't know what spell is you're opening. But anyway, so then what you have to do, then you delete all the stuff from the model. Doesn't matter, it's just saying the actual will break it. But doesn't matter because you're going to make your own prefab. So there you go, then you get your character, put him in there, uh, under the prefab. Then what you do is you have to zero out your character, so I'll pop him back in. Then once you see that, you have your character all lined up nicely. <clears throat> now with my game, I haven't gotten rid of the armchair, but I'm not too sure. Maybe if you go on the forums uh, and talk on there, maybe... You have to, I'm not too sure, I haven't tried with it, but for this period I'm just going to leave it anyway. So what you have to do, I prefer to leave the name overlay up on the very top, just because it's the name on top. So this is our character, or your character. So then what we have to do is, we go to our character, I use Mixamo for my character, so with the auto rig. So what you have to do, if you have Mixamo, you'll go to the spine, spine 1, spine 2 and then what this will do then is you'll go to your left shoulder and right shoulder so we'll go to the right shoulder first so then what you see is you have right hand so then what you want to do is you see this weapon mount what you want to do is drag that onto the hand and then you can see it's popped it right there with all the rest of the hands then what you want to do is zero that out too and you see that pops it just right at the hand. So then what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the left shoulder and do this. Your skeleton system might not be as complex as this as long as you've got all the necessities that's all that matters. So then we'll go, oh, that's the left hand there. So left hand, shield, mount we will pop that on the left hand and that will be there and we'll do the same thing zero 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 so that is done now hopefully I've done this right because this would be quite odd and scary for me so then what we want to do is with that prefab this character prefab so I should say that we have in front of us now we go back to the entities oh, oh, wrong area so prefabs the entities players then what you want to do is grab your warrior or what we're called warrior or whatever your name might be put them over to your duplicate I just called it test soldier for the purpose it's just saying would you like to do it obviously you want to so you go replace anyway 
and we'll give that a couple of seconds because my computer is slow and a piece of crap. Then once you've done that, you have to go to the network manager. And then what you have to do is, okay, this is, yep, there you go, so it's been a little while since I've had to do it from scratch. So then you go to go to the plus, and these are the pre the current ones that the developer has put in. Sorry, I just had to think about that. But then what you want to do is grab your player, left click and drag him into the game object. So there you go, test soldier. Now if I'm correct, which should be, hopefully. Then we oh one thing I forgot to mention, sorry, is with your actual character you must add a capsule collider so we'll go add component when it decides to wake up this is one thing that always tends to I tend to forget to do so whenever you go and try to click on your character it won't actually attack because it doesn't realize that there's a collider <coughs> sorry about this guys again That work there we go so we go physics and then we go capture collider so then what we want to do is basically make it so the tip of the top is hitting the head and the tip of the bottom is hitting the feet so then we'll go hard make it a bit there maybe a bit smaller yeah it looks good I'll probably make it a bit skinnier. That's just my personal opinion. <coughs> Leave it like that, and that should be good. And then now we have to drag him again, put him back into the prefab. That should be done. We'll just double check the network manager. Yep, still good. So now we want to delete. And then what we'll do is we'll just see if we can get this working. We'll play. It doesn't take another thousand years <clears throat> I guess it decided that it wants to take a billion years I do apologize again There we go, so now there we go, serve and play. <laughs> then we go create, and we should see when you click on this drop box, test soldier. So that's basically our character that we just created, call it whatever, whatever that's supposed to be. And we should hopefully have our character in the scene. <coughs> There we go, now you notice that our character is in the scene but doesn't look right. So now what we want to do is close that down. Now we have to put our controller, controller I think, right. Pop it back out here. So what we want to do is controller, that was correct, sorry. And then we go open up our character. Actually, no, sorry, the controller you leave, but what we have to change is our avatar. So we go soldier avatar, or for my case, sold avatar. Then what we want to do is open up our controller. Don't know, take that back. We want to duplicate that. And then put it into our own. Because we don't want to wreck, wreck the other one.
So then we double click on that, and these are all the animations that are in here. So now what we want to do is put in our animations. So you go left click on here, idle. So if you hear voices in the background, it's my wife on the phone. So all these are my animations, so what we want to do is chuck that on, which is an animation, run, drop dead, and so on and so on. I'll just quickly do this. Which one is? And so on. No. The death, then the last one attack. We'll just save that, and then that's done. So then we go back to our entities. Sorry, so my alarm has been a little while since I have to do this. And we should go back. And we have to apply it again. Now, hopefully, when we go back in, it should change. We'll give it a shot, see what happens. Again, I do apologize, it's taking so long. So long. So now we go to server and play, we will should be able to use the same person. And it didn't work. That's no. Maybe it's update. Because I forgot the most simplest thing, I bet. Add the controller. Now we give it a shot. Party game. And there we go, just as I thought, I forgot to apply the animations. 
And there you go, that's how you add your own character into the game with your own animations. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm waiting for it to pop up. Alright, I see you're recording. Should be. Waiting for it to bloody stop.